Hi everyone, Big D here. How are we all doing? So, I will be doing the Snap It build uh, for the St. Jude's, um, which was uh, presented by Heath, who is uh, Patrick Hancock over at the uh, Smoky, you know, what's it called? <laughs> Southern Fried Rod Shop. Southern Fried Rod Shop. Heath over there. Great idea, Heath. And it's important that these kids have some entertainment. And it's good for us here in the community to uh, show that we care. So, I'll show you what I'm building. Of course it's a Chevelle. Of course it's the Chevelle. 70 Chevelle Super Sport 454. Um... You all know previous videos, I love the Chevelle, so this is what it's going to be. And uh, that's what it's going to look like. This will be a 100% box stock box art build. So i um, pretty excited about it. I have the, uh, the parts laid out. I'll go ahead and show everyone. Um, really, really nice molding on them. I, uh, but... We'll go ahead and start out here. There's your door panels, steering wheel, seats. Now I I'm not I might the only thing you know I'm not going to do any paint, but I might do I will do some little detailing in here. Um, probably the door cranks, the door handle. Um, haven't thought about any much more than that, but I am going to add my little details where I feel uh, necessary. Alright, here is a shot of the dash and the interior tub, but let me get closer for you guys here. Sorry. There's the dash. I really think it's, it was molded well. Um, the interior tub has your uh, little detailing there in the back seat. So, um, the chrome. Let's see now. That's where you put your headlights. Here's the front bumper. I will be doing the black wash on the front bumper, which, uh, so you can see the box art, they didn't do that, but I will be doing the black wash on that and also the black wash for the rear bumper. I will be doing my black wash on that. Um, here are the rims. Pretty nice looking rims on there, I thought. No complaints there. Um, and here are the tires. I didn't take them out of the plastic, but they have treads on them. Yeah, you can't see that. Um, we do have uh, red clear, and also the clear for the headlights. Uh, here's the windshield. The uh, windshield wipers are molded on the windshield. So, I'll probably do my windshield masking, too. Add that detail. Um, here's your chassis. Everything molded in. Now, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do it, but the exhaust on there, I kind of, I might highlight that. Um, if not, I'm just going to do the tips. I'll just do, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I'm going to do the, the, any de I'm definitely not going to paint in here at all, but I think it would be okay if the exhaust was done. So I might look at doing that. Um, and then here's the body. Here, yeah. Here's the body. Um, pretty classic with the uh, Chevelle. We got a mold line right there. 
we got a mold line right there but uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna worry about mold lines I'm gonna leave them because I don't want the plastic to kind of get you know messy um, there's one thing if you see on the let me see if you see on the inside there see that little that little uh, dot there well that shows through on the front Let's see if we can get that in focus I'm getting kind of a glare well anyhow I mean you can tell that right there the plastic is it's a little clearer a little lighter blue because of that poking in the bottom um, I am going to do the trim but I'm not going to use bare metal foil um, there's a new builder out there guys and I'm going to give him a little shout out here uh, his name is uh, Tyler the Modeler so hi Tyler the Modeler uh, you're doing good work out there um, and if you aren't subscribed to Tyler the Modeler uh, this young man is doing some good work um, learning from the community uh, reminds me of when I was his age and just kind of started getting into the hobby um, you know and uh, he did get a tip on doing uh, your your trim using the silver sharpie and he has a little tutorial on that on his page so I'm gonna I'm gonna do the silver sharpie for the uh, for the uh, panel lines I'm not sure who he got that tip from it might have been Ray 1965 but I'm, I'm not 100% sure but yeah I'm gonna do my trim with the silver sharpie instead of bare metal foil so uh, I'm looking forward to that um, Here's your stickers. Now, of course, with the box art, I'm using these, but I thought it was kind of cool. You can you can also do do uh, racing stripes if you wanted, so you wouldn't necessarily have to uh, have the checkered flame look. You could you could have racing stripes. Um, some plates, just you know, just there's the plates, just simply cheval. Now, another thing that's uh, another thing that's kind of cool is here on the instructions. You can lower it. You can do a stock height or a lower height. So I'm going to lower it. You know, I thought that was kind of cool that uh, Ravel made that option available. So we're going to lower it. Um, might do my detailing and stuff and then I'll do another video and then um, I'll do the final so this is a three part uh, three part series on on the snap it build um, so anyways hope you're all doing well um, loving all the videos as always um, take care everyone and have a great day bye bye